Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this react.js video tutorial we will learn that how we can write our first program in uh, react.js as well as how we can create our first file in the react.js, right? The purpose of this video is just getting familiar with the react code, right? Because many developers have the curiosity that how they can just write hello world kind of program in react.js and uh, after that uh, we will just get a little bit familiar with the react and we can just make some changes here and there and we can just play with the code right so now let's get started with the points of this video first of all we will create our first change in the react.js code then uh, we will create a new file and after that i will uh, answer the question of the previous video that i asked you that what is the alternative of uh, npm then I will ask you uh, one more question and uh, if you just want to join me on Insta then here you can join this is the ID for Instagram account right so as you know in the previous video we already installed react.js application so now just uh, go there so I'm just going to close this folder and uh, here is our project right which is blog we created in the previous video so just go to this uh, address bar and just simply write here cmd and it will open a command line prompt first of all just write here code dot if you are using the visual studio as in code editor and uh, it will open your project inside the visual studio code right and within that time you can just simply write here npm start and uh, this command will uh, start your project or you can see that the run your project on the browser right so just wait for a moment so it's actually opening my project inside uh, another browser right so but I just want to open it inside the Chrome so just open it like this right so this is our uh, first UI first look UI on a browser so how we can just change it little bit changes all right so for that you just okay so i'm just going to close these files also and uh, collapsing my project and for that you just need to go inside the src folder and then app.js and you can just remove all this stuff for a moment and just simply write here h1 tag and just write here hello world right and now just you can see that output right so this is a pretty simple to make your first change right so how this code actually executed uh, as I already told you in the next video I will tell you the all uh, folder and file structure of the react.js but for a moment just go through the little bit with that so the first file which is executed in the react.js is index.js right and uh, in this file we have imported our app.js right here you can see that app and that's why the first application or you can say that the first change in our uh, app.js will directly reflect here there is a no more file for react code there is only two file one is uh, index.js and second one is the app.js another file are directly related to the css or svg kind of things they are not really important for a moment right so the two more most important file for us starting with the react is index.js and app.js right so we just get to know that how we can make our first change so how we can create our new file for that this is a very simple just go to the src folder and just write here any file name keep in mind your file name should be start with the capital word right so we can just write here user.js so as uh, we are just want to create a new file so and we are not go, uh, go through with the code that how it's code, code actually work so that i can just copy this code from here to here right and uh, how it's actually code work then don't worry in the next video we'll just go through with it and uh, let's uh, there's a simple function we can just change this function name and this exported file also right just simply put here user perfect and now let's import this inside our uh, index.js if you just want to run it so if you want then you can comment this line and if you don't want that's okay and uh, just uh, just import the user file also as you are imported the app file right users and now just use this user as a tag and replace with the app.js 
make your first refresh okay you still find the hello world because in the both files we have the same code so here you can just simply write here hello user right and here you can see that this is the output right all right so these are the simple steps to make your first change and uh, first file so in the last video i have a question that uh, what is the alternative of uh, npm the name of this package manager is john y a r yeah? you can just simply write here john and uh, this is basically a package manager which is uh, written by or created by you can say that by facebook right and this is pretty similar uh, like a npm and uh, don't be confused that uh, if uh, we are using the yarn then do we need to write the lots of uh, different code for react no code will be completely same just the package name will be changed your npm will directly change with the yarn there is a no more changes right but yes we must have to know about that because sometime in, in the interviews this kind of questions are asked and uh, the question for this video is uh, what is the current version of your react project how we you can check inside your project right so here you can see that we have some files so in one file of this uh, only one file just indicate that your version also so you just you can just uh, attempt this question that how you can just find the react version in your project right so yes uh, because uh, uh, this video is uh, will be a long time for on youtube so might be uh, when you are just watching this video in after one month or a two month or three month version can be very very so don't worry about that just uh, open your project and just find your current version and mention in a comment box right and uh, thanks for watching this video and in the next video i will tell you that how you can just check out your react version if you don't know and uh, that's fine for uh, the moment and bye bye take care